I think there's some really interesting examples of advanced economies um, beyond, moving far beyond the WTO and the current government procurement agreement. And what we're, what we're seeing is four emergent themes that this paper discusses. The first one is the move to mandatory, sustainable, or social value public procurement. And I think countries are saying we can no longer rely on the voluntary approach and we must, in legislation and in policy, consider social and environmental criteria in our evaluation of taxpayer funded contracts. So the move to mandatory is one of the themes. And the countries that would be leading there would be the Netherlands, Japan, which Japan started green public procurement mandatory in 2001. And today, uh, the United Kingdom is a world leader in a mandatory social value public procurement. So mandatory is the first theme. The second theme is um, uh, the more legislation in supply chain, so due diligence legislation. And what we're seeing here is that supply chain risk uh, is moving from reputational to legal liability, even to the imprisonment of company directors and fines. And here we're seeing France, uh, Germany and Norway are leading in supply chain due diligence legislation. So public procurement can be asking for more transparency in these taxpayer funded supply chains. The third theme is um, we don't actually know how to do this. So we're learning as we go. We need knowledge hubs. And what we're seeing is uh, countries are creating knowledge hubs. Uh, that I'd say the Netherlands and Germany have done a really good job of creating multi-level government knowledge hubs to help central and local governments understand how to do this. But then we're also seeing international cooperation across borders, uh, Canada and the US are leading a global greening of government initiative. So countries are really working together to figure out how to build this knowledge. And the fourth theme would be um, future generations and the Welsh government looking at well-being economics. So we have New Zealand, Iceland, Scotland and Wales collaborating on um, economics that have people at the centre. And I think that's really promising. All of that no longer is not yet present in the government procurement agreement, and that's all providing a good way forward. Thank you.